What is up everybody and welcome to this episode 4 of getting our launch box and rocket launcher uh, set up to the max and in today's episode we're going to be looking up at setting up the Nintendo Wii U using the fantastic emulator uh, CMU. So to get started what you need to do is in the description below there is a link. Click on that link it will take to my mega website where you will download this folder here. Once you extract it you will end up with these two folders here. So just tell you what I've given you. Uh, I've given you CMU. Okay, latest CMU build which is 1.15.3. I've given you my shader cache. Okay, um, most of them are complete. Some aren't, just how it is. Uh, I've also given you CMU hook built in. Okay, so what we need to do first off is we need to take these two folders here. We're going to copy and we're going to paste them into our install directory. Okay. Once we've done that, we're going to set CMU up because uh, it takes a little bit of configuring. So with CMU, we're going to uh, go to the emulator folder and we're going to open up the EXE. Okay. And we're going to look at configuring this. So first off, what we want to do is want to configure our settings. So if we go to imp uh, import settings or input settings rather, um, I'm using a PS4 pad that thinks it's a 360 pad using DS4 software. Uh, it's a great little program and what you can do is just click on each button and go through it. Um, as you can see I've already set these up. Uh, up down left right. Click up down left right. Up down left right. There we go. Jobs are good and you can then save it. I tend to call it main. I'll save that. Okay. Uh, so once we've set the settings up now we're going to configure um, CMU itself. Now what I haven't given you, you ha will have in this folder uh, a generic MLC01 folder. Um, this has just, it's just there. Uh, with latest, uh, the latest version of CMU and as for the last few iterations then um, we're able to change where this location is. So mine's here. Now this one is about 30 gigs because um, it's got all my saves in it, all my uh, patches and updates and add-on content so basically uh, what you do need is if you go into title and into these folders here you'll have these four folders here you need these to run some games I know the Mario games you need them for so like Super Mario Brothers etc uh, you can find these on the internet pretty uh, pretty easily if you Google is your friend um, it also then has all your add-on content so I think this is Zelda here okay so it has all the add-on content that you might have saved there so to set that up what we need to do is go to options we're going to go to general and this MLC path which is here I'm going to navigate to it so mine's on the desktop what I tend to do is keep it um, in with the games in the ROMs but for this uh, purpose of this tutorial I haven't done that now I have got a few games here I've got four games and what I've done is I've created a zip folder just with the names of them all okay yeah so I'm just gonna pop those into games and launch box so install directory launch box games and that's where my see new games are gone and then I'm gonna point this path here to that so go to desktop Install launch box games, see new games, select there. Okay, the rest we're going to leave as default. You can have a little play around these settings. Uh, they've added a few more um, settings to, to upscale basically. Uh, leave these as default here with the full sync for the uh, GX2 draw and the separate, uh, separate shaders. Um, we're going to leave them as default. Audio is fine. Online, if you've got your keys, dump them off a proper Wii U. Um, you can use and go online and play online as if it was a normal Wii U, which is great. I just don't have that. So once we've closed that down, you can see those games have been imported. Now what we're going to do is look at getting the graphics packs. Okay. So, 
what we've done is we've gone into options and second one down graphics packs will come with this screen here download latest community graphics packs automatically does it no more messing around and there we go that's great so what we can do here I'm going to use Hyrule Warriors because I love this game now I know Hyrule Warriors doesn't work when you've got DLC there's a death I've got NVIDIA 980 Ti, it's a pair of them, and I have a, a, a glitch, so there's a, a, a patch if you like for that. I'm going to leave it at 30 frames per second, lock, so it's um, consistent, because I can't quite get a constant 60 frames. Uh, contrasty, I am going to use Colourful, because it makes it look really pretty, and graphics, uh, I'm going to go to 2K, I tend to play to most of these games in 2k um, it depends on your system to what you will set these to okay um, but that's how I set mine up um, again you can have a play around with these some games like Zelda have a lot more options there's a lot more mods there um, but a lot of people on the internet have already uh, already covered this so I'm gonna use Hyrule Warriors um, as my guinea pig test game so we've set seen you up now the next thing to do is we're going to do uh, import these into LaunchBox. So we'll go to our LaunchBox Tools, Import ROM Files, click Next, Add Folder, CMU Games. Uh, no, sorry, apologies, I'm getting ahead of myself. Add Files, CMU Games. We're going to add the zips. Now we're going to do this just for the ease of setting it up. Um, we're going to go back in and change those those file locations uh, later on after we've set it up in LaunchBox. So I'm going to click Next. It's not called the XMU board, is it? It's called the Nintendo Wii U. There we go. Click Next. Default emulator is Rocket Launcher. Click Next. I'm going to use the files in the current location. Okay. So I'm, uh, you can download what you like really, I'm only going to be using the clear logo, uh, the box 3D and the box front, see what we get. If you've got Emu Movers account you can use your uh, login details and that will draw down extra media uh, from there, however I have found numerous places where all the stuff that's hosted there is hosted on the internet and, and you can get away with it without, uh, without paying a, a subscription, so um, you can uh, google that, as I say Google is your friend, there's lots out there. Um, then we're going to click next, leave that as default, there's our four games, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to import these and come back when it's finished. Okay welcome back, as you can see that uh, imported very quickly, got some nice box art there. Um, this, uh, the more games you have the longer it's going to take obviously, so what we need to do now is get this uh, beauty set up in our rocket launcher, so we're going to go to the install directory, we're going to go to rocket launcher. Uh, rocket launcher UI and open up the EXE once that's open we can see the Nintendo Wii there but we're going to stay in global just for a second I'm going to click on the emulators tab and we're going to add it to our emulator so click the plus then the name we're going to call it CMU path is to the emulator so CMU EXE ROM extensions are RPX. Modules seem you. So you're going to use the modded module that I've given you. It's basically just a few character changes um, for that. Uh, I'm going to do dash F there. So on the parameters, I put minus F and then I'm going to save. Next then we need to set this up as an as a emulator in the Wii U section, so we're going to click on Nintendo Wii U, go there, uh, ROM path then is launch box, games, CMU games, ok, default emulator, CMU. Then we're going to go to settings, we're going to go to bezel, we want to turn the bezel off because it's going to be full screen. Go to main settings, uh, now this is where we have to uh, be a little bit clever. We're going to use true to match extension and on skip checks we're going to say ROM and EMU, we're going to skip those checks so there we go true and ROM and EMU 
Then I'm going to go to fade. I'm just going to add a little bit of time on. So exit delay is going to be three seconds. That's 3,000. Okay. Uh, and that's all I want to do there. Then I'm going to go to modules and I'm going to check this says full screen true. We want that true so it boots straight up into full screen. And I think that's it. Are we ready to test it? Don't worry about these being red. Okay, we're going to go to Hyrule Warriors. This will take a, a little bit of time for the graphics pack to load in the first time. Um, the bigger the graphics pack, the longer it takes to load. It's only the first time you do it um, while it's compiling it. Um, after the first time, it will it whiz along. I know Zelda takes quite a while with its 9,000, I think there is. So we're going to let this just do its uh, shader, compile its shaders. There we go, see the loading. There's, that's all I want to see. I want to know it's booting. Okay. So, here's the tricky part then. Uh, what we have to do now is some games may load fine from here uh, with not doing this next step some won't so if you had get an error I tend to do this for all games it's probably best practice now we've used the zip files just so we can get the correct name and mods uh, and, and media rather um, so what we're going to do is go into each game and we're just going to edit so there it is it's pointing at that zip I'm going to go to browse Hyrule Warriors, always in the code file, we're looking for that RPX folder file, okay? Click OK. Do that for all four. So Zelda, browse, code, and we're looking for U King, Mario Kart, browse, we're looking for the RPX, which is the turbo. And Luigi Browns Code and we're looking for the RPX. Okay. Some games may work off the zip, um, that's fine. Um, it's just that some games won't. So let's try this. Boom. Straight in. Look how quick those uh, shader cache. I know it's called cash, I always say cache. Eh? Uh. Okay, so as you can see, that's fully working there. We've got Hyrule Warriors working. Looks lovely. Great game. In fact, to be fair, the Wii U had some superb games. Um, really good games uh, for something of what was seen as a bit of a disastrous console for Nintendo. Okay, uh, well, Simi's done. Nintendo Wii's done. Um, that's another one put to bed. I'm going to leave it there. If you like this video, uh, then please like and subscribe. If you didn't, then don't. If you really, really like this video, then you can donate to me. There is a PayPal me button at the top of my banner on my main page, or there is a link in the description below. But until next time, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.